Let's talk about this as an historic year for women, Susan. Uh, yes. Uh, you know, t in 2010, for the first time in 30 years, the number of women in Congress went down. That got reversed uh, on Tuesday, especially in the Senate. We, you know, we had all these women. We had any number of women in competitive races in the Senate. And as a result, the number of women who serve in the Senate will go up to 20. That's a record. I mean, it's not 50. Uh, you know, it's not uh, equal to the women's share of the population, but it's a level we've never reached before. And we saw women candidates winning in some places in very competitive or where they were underdogs. Tammy Baldwin uh, in Wisconsin, uh, running against a very popular former governor, to uh, Tommy Thompson won. Uh, at Heidi Heitkamp in North Dakota. That Elizabeth is not Elizabeth Warren. Elizabeth Warren in pr perhaps a marquee race. But of course, yeah. that was at least a very Democratic leaning state. Heidi Heitkamp won in a red state, a Democrat winning in a red state. So I do think this was a year, an important year for women. And the number of women who were running for Senate seats was a record this year as well. 18 women were running for Senate seats. We had a race out in Hawaii where there were two women running against each other. We had a race in California with two women running against each other. That's going to become increasingly common. So I remember when I first started working for the United States Senate as a staff member in 1985, there was not a woman's restroom on the level with the Senate chamber. They had to go to another floor, and there weren't many of them to go there. So, I mean, we have just transformed the Senate in that 30-year period and less than 30-year period, and the direction, as Susan says, was really reconfirmed by this election. The number of women running, the quality of the candidacies that of the women running, and the re-election rate of women who were running for re-election, which is also key. Uh, there were a couple that looked a little shaky at the beginning of the cycle. Debbie Stabenow, certainly Claire McCaskill, they're both back for the next Congress. And that really reestablishes a strong energy. And let's not forget to mention that women voted more than men in the presidential election, 53 to 47, and that the gap by which Barack Obama won women was enough to overcome the mm -hmm. gap by which he lost men. And, you know, one other thing we know about women uh, in office is that they operate a little differently than men. Uh, we know from studies that have been done at Rutgers and elsewhere that women, elected in elected officials who are women, are more likely to try to seek common ground, are more likely to make uh, alliances across party lines. And so this may be a good fit between the demographics of the new Senate and what they need to do over the next Jeez. year.